viewers welcome to EQ International magazine India's oldest and leading solar media today we have Mr Rohit Dar from MV a very warm welcome to you sir yeah good morning ayushi good morning sir how are you yeah very well that's great sir sir can you enlighten us about the MV well MV is a world class solar pv module manufacturer and we are always striving to um, offer latest uh, technology to all our valued customers that's great sir so can you let me know what are the opportunity in india currently you are looking out and in terms of project in tender and also in the uh, side of opportunity in manufacturing itself you see there is a very large opportunity uh, india is a very large solar market the fourth largest in the world and it's growing rapidly and there's further potential to scale up this growth and uh, emerge as uh, one of the top 3 players uh, in the world uh, coming to your specific question on uh, opportunity in tendering segment and non tendering segment i think there is very large opportunity in both the domains uh, we have a uh, lot of tenders which are uh, uh, which have been released by psus like ntpc like seki and uh, nlc and many other public sector undertakings and uh, many more are in the pipeline to come so there's no dearth of opportunity as far as pv modules are concerned also apart from the module tenders we have uh, very large opportunity from the ipp segment uh, cndi segment and uh, retail and distributed side uh, but all this uh, needs clarity in policy framework and the lmm implementation will be a prerequisite to further acceleration of the opportunity and emergence of the manufacturing ecosystem as a matter of fact mv as a world class module pv manufacturer is poised to commission its top on 1.5 gigawatt cell line within next few months so uh, 3 gigawatt of modules already up and running and 1.5 gigawatt of top on cell line will make us vertically integrated and we have further plans of scale up that's great sir sir can you let me know uh, what kind of growth do you see in upcoming this residential sector demand as the new policies is coming from the side of government yeah residential uh, demand uh, you know till now the rooftop segment of which residential is a prominent component it has not uh, been where it should have been in all these years since we rolled out national solar mission now uh, there has been an announcement we are waiting for further details of the nitty gritty and contours of the rooftop announcement that has been very recently made uh, so we have to be little patient let us have the details uh, there's no doubt in our mind that uh, residential segment will also take off in india with the right policy framework that's great sir sir can you give me any guidance about your life uh, how it went your experience past experience with mv and your life experience as well well the message is that uh, sustainability uh, is the need of the hour and renewable energy carbon free power along with the digitization and distributed uh, energy these are mega trends which are converging and uh, they are so important for energy security for india and also this uh, importance of energy security uh, in context of renewable carbon free energy is intertwined with food security and uh, our uh, all other dimensions of the security oh that's great sir thank you so much for your time really pleasure thank you very much